Okay, I think we're live. Just one second, I'm going to pop out the chat. guys to episode seven no six I got back six of our Gromadville campaign I was uh, going to be taking today off uh, as per my schedule stream schedule but um, I decided to actually stream today because I wanted to wrap up our uh, current campaign with Gromadville uh, and achieve the goal I set out to initially when I started the campaign a couple days back which is take Nagron so that's our goal today We're going to take specifically Gromadil's army, and maybe one other army, and just cruise over to Nagarond, probably fight some battles along the way, and uh, burn it down. So I got a new mouse today that I'm using, and uh, at least to me it sounds significantly quieter than my other ones. So there should be less background, like peripheral clicking noise for you guys. I see someone joined. Hello, hello. Okay. I think we have pretty much finished this turn. Let's just double check. Logan. Oh, that's right, he's currently sieging. He's got some equipment going, but he needs a bit more. Yeah, I'm just being really lazy with him and starving the garrison out rather than fight it myself. I could win it pretty easily, but it'd be a little tedious. Nutter, Thorgrim, Morgrim, Belagar, skill point to designate, uh, let's see, Iron Drakes, what is this, no, the Rangers, yeah, there we go, nice, you buff up Rangers pretty well. Mulgo. Okay, yeah. Mulgo and Ungrim are holding down the north from the Chaos Invasion. That's uh, right up here, just off into the uh, fog. They are absolutely coming further south and going to be hitting this area. So, I'll be ready for them. And we need to embed these heroes here, but we've already moved. Yeah. That is not okay. why. Joseph. What to do with you, Joseph? Of course. What? Misty Bell, for sure. Let's grab Death Gorge. Actually, I'll have Belagar come down and take Spice Speak. Let's take Joseph, hop over here towards Death Gorge, take that back. Oh, Spirit Dude. Oh, that's right, we need to move him. Let's not forget about him. Oh, she's moving in the wrong direction. Uh, oh, so this guy's got one of the heroes as well. Oh, I think two of them got wounded in that battle like two turns ago, didn't they? Yeah, so this is the dude with the... Uh, yeah, he's missing two units. They, those are two of the Belagar special ethereal heroes. So, Which we probably, in terms of a thematic 
feel should put them back in Belgar's army, but we don't have to. It's not necessary, of course. We can do whatever we want. Uh, yes, and then we got Ungram. Yeah, wounded and wounded. Okay. Then rebellion. I think it's right. Yeah, Numus. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, I did build walls there. Which is good. Dwarf King. Welcome to the stream. Uh, actually, sure. I'm surprised Tic Tac Toe is still alive, actually. Oh, well, there's Deathmaster, this little poop stack. Okay. We'll track him down. Sigma. Carol. I probably... Oh, hey, it's the Sullied. What's up, dude? What is that face? Is that, like, blonde hair? <laughs> My team assemble... This poor bastard's been trying to just get all sorts of treaties with me, but just can't do it. He's not really on my priority list to better right quickly, so. You know. Alright, Deathmaster, where the hell were you? Oh, excellent. Nice, we got these two guys back. But, okay. okay, let's get them back. Well, No! Another little poop stack, eh? Zorikan. Oh, it's a salute. Oh, I see it now. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I've never seen that one before. Runesmiths. Probably get the jump on me. My ambush will probably be foiled, and he'll just attack me. Get the proc the auto ambush, wipe me out. But yeah, his stack is pretty crappy. I, I don't feel intimidated. Okay, Deathmaster. Okay, here's my spirits. Spirits assemble. for all three. Yes. It is time. Yeah, these nice spirit heroes are pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I unwilled. How's your day going, Sullied? I know we talked a little earlier a bit. Legends chat. This guy's a sniper, okay. Okay. 
That's a good question. Um, I kind of talked about that right before you joined. Um, I'm planning to take in this episode, so in the next like two or three hours, take um, Grombi and probably a second lord, and take the two of them over to Nagaron and just burn it down. Because that was the initial goal of the campaign when I started it. So, and that's why I'm streaming today. I just it was like, I'm going to stream today and actually properly wrap up that campaign, you know? So that's kind of my priority right now. Yes. Well, you know, engaging on other fronts too. My anger burns bright. It's a good story. Well, it's standard It's not too important. Also. Setting off. The turn order. Actually, one of these guys can come down. Yeah. Faint. I'm surprised Chaos didn't show up here when I passed the turn. Interesting. For the wisdom of Valea. Onwards. And that spot. Yes. And let's get rid of Chaos okay, I must fulfill my slayer oath. Slay. <laughs> nice, you got a free pizza. Sweet. It's a net negative, yeah. What kind of pizza was it? Okay. Get that. Yeah, I guess we'll just sit tight. I'm gonna ambush, actually. Oh, wait. How did I take attrition? Is it chaos attrition? Yeah. The Slayer King. Hmm. Alright, Grumby. Grumbly. I mean, he's got a long ways to go. Ah, oh, man, I really should keep pushing down here. Oh, who it is? <gasps> Let's hear what you have to say. We'll hear it before Oath Gold. Yes! Poor guy, I think he's just down to this one last settlement. Thoric. Oh my gosh. Oh, Thoric. Just, just poop stacks. Well, I'm gonna help him out by hopping down here. Just cleaning this out. I won't take thing over here, I, at least not yet with Grombi. I'm just going to take the Lost Plateau and then head towards Nagarond. Okay, let's see what Deathmaster does. My army is so bad, I'm really not scared of it. It's over. <laughs> nice. It's always cool those sorts of things randomly happen in your day-to-day. Silver lining. He's got four towers. I guess it's not that much. Grimner is with us. The haunted forest. I don't have much money left. Yeah, I'd say I do. Uh, it's a good question. Um, sometimes I, I just don't know when. I want to stop a campaign, you know? It's like, once you achieve, if you set an initial goal and you achieve that, and you technically beat the campaign, um, it's, oftentimes I'll just just stop when I get bored. Um, and that varies depending on the campaign itself. Sometimes I'll quit at like, you know, eight, turn 80. 
other times they'll take it to turn like 200 or 300. So it, it varies a lot. What about you? Nutter. Was it Nutter who got the ship yet? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. But well, he's pretty much back to decent health. I'll get him a gyrocopter. Let's get rid of these miners. Gyrocopters. Yeah, that'll be okay. Is that rebellion? Ah, okay, there it is. That's only an eight stack right now. Okay, makes me feel better. I might just recruit a lord here. Thorgrim kind of. Uh, we're gonna have to go to war with Ikat Claw here, like soon. Probably once we start heading towards Nagarond on the way, we can just take out Ikat Claw. Yeah, let's do that. that. Actually, sounds like a decent plan. Yes. Let's roll him over. The runes are cast. Ooh, look at that. We've ripped out the. Uh, economy, the heart of the economy for uh, Deathmaster, so he's able to just recruit slaves, it's all he's got access to. Bad oh. idea. But yeah, that's probably the case. These gutter unders are probably just leftovers from previous recruiting. Vengeful Yeah, I know the feeling, dude. Uh, I've taken Vivance uh, on and off for quite a few years, and I could definitely, like, when I'm on Vivance, I could easily go, like, eight hours, just, or, like, ten hours even, just whole, the whole day, just deep into a campaign. And those tend to be the campaigns that end up being, yeah, like, 300 turns. But, yeah, if that makes a big difference. You're absolutely right. Four thousand hours and I had two faction campaign completion arc achieves. Wow. Damn. Damn. That's pretty impressive. It's really impressive. I'm going This is a little risky, but whatever. Let's get rid of the rooms are ready. these guys. Master of rooms. Our last spirit dude to this army. Allocate his point. That'll be useful to have that. Explosions rune that uh, could clear out Skaven fairly well. Grumpy, okay. Well, let's take this just to help out our buddy Thoric. Crazy. I mean, Vivance tends to be. I mean, it's a stronger medication, but uh, and it works totally differently than Mil Wellbutrin. Um, but yeah, if Wellbutrin has that effect, uh, it's a sign that your brain is definitely uh, receptive to it. Oh, it 
squeak. Not my fault. they're putting money into these places. Probably gonna lose them. Oh, this place though. Yeah, that's right, we got this place. Okay, let's ambush here. Probably won't work, but it's alright. Beach to it. This guy, continue on. Not good, bad. When can I level you up again? Pretty soon. Good. Excellent, excellent. Mountain. I'll save my money. Pinnacle. Uh, I'm not going to bother investing into it. I'll continue building up the wall, though. Just want to make sure I'm able to hold off this invasion first. Back up to 300 old gold. I could start crafting some stuff, but I also just kind of want to save it for the, the good stuff. Could probably only craft like one really good item, or maybe two. So. Oh, Belagar. Oh, it's knocking up Warpstone. It's like, oh shit. I'm going to battle. This. Yeah, that's just such a bad army. Even still hurt me fairly badly. Stupid army as well. On my way. We could send Belagar out with uh, Grumby. Let's do that. Uh, I do the achievements, yeah, but I don't um, actively like try to accomplish them. I, the only ones that I've gotten, I think I have about half the achievements, maybe a little more, um, are just from like randomly playing the game and have and then fulfilling them just unknowingly. You know, I'll be playing along and then I'll get the pop up achievement achieved. Like, oh, alright. <laughs> it's kind of fun though. Like, when it does pop up and I cheat one, I'm like, oh, nice. Hey, Joe, look at that. It's because it's usually during my uh, <clears throat> my sessions with uh, the co op sessions with my buddy. Welcome. Whoever just joined, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so Belagar and Grombri will be heading over towards Nagarond here. That's salt nice. It's gonna be a tromp and a half, but I think we'll get there within this episode. Or how about I just, I just make that a promise? I am going to burn down Nagarond this episode. That is that is the goal. Um, Heroes. So let's put in some money into building uh, several of the Runesmith buildings at our uh, capitals. Yes, because we need more capacity for them. I like to have one in each army, you know, just to, as I would with other factions and mages and casters, right? Just gives your uh, 
army much more flexibility to take on different scenarios. Yeah. Uh, than it would otherwise. Ha! It did work! Well, the ambush didn't work, but I intercepted him, which is also good. It's a perfect vigor. Nice, it's actually pretty good. Give that to these dudes. Could I put that on a lord? No. Okay. It's tempting to fight it, but it's just... It's just gonna be a stomp. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Suck that, Deathmaster. Poor Setrap. No, dude. I, I just want to trade with you. That's all I want. Nothing else. There's Queek. Just tweaking out. <laughs> Got another one. <laughs> fucking characters. Get out of here. Thindle. But I make no Yeah, that's okay. I really don't like fighting wood elves, so I'm I'm cool with that. Ooh, turtle flame. There are all these characters that, that just murdered. Gosh. Okay. Bella Gow. Bella Gow. He could be the first one to wage war on Ikaclaw. Take Dragonmine. Dragonhorn Mines back. No, punk. Alright. So let's. Well, we have some money. Let's build some of those. Well, more of those. Buildings. We also have uh, a special one to build. Which I wish I had another slot there for, because uh, it's that special building that uh, gives bonuses to Runesmiths, I believe. That way. There, so we have two on the way at the moment. We'll get a third going. Oh, okay. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, well, let's save our money. Let's take out this bastard. It's a rebellion. Out of nowhere. Um, let's move. Up next to it. Look at that one turn he recruits. Like 12 units. Redonk. Redonk. Oh, it's another, uh, <laughs> it's another Marathi. Army just heading somewhere. Who calls me? Poor okay. Thoric. Color. Oh, for sure. Let's see how much we can from trade. Let's do that at least. He's only. He only has. Oh, he's down to just one settlement. His initial capital. Oh, okay. It's a special building. Doesn't it buff up Longbeards? Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's kind of cool that you get it at tier one as well. Okay. Well, we could confederate him. I might. Uh, I'm gonna check on our uh, diplomacy progression with Ungrim first. Wait, don't we got him? No, we got him. What am I talking about? And then we got. Belagar. Okay, so, yeah. Might as well get him. I think he's the last of the legendaries. Yeah. Yep. And it's easy. Just one settlement. Nice and easy. Let's do it. I think we can handle the negatives to the Confederation. The penalty. Shouldn't be an issue. Of course, it tanks our economy. <laughs> Alright, Joseph. That. I'll sort out our economy here in a second. Oh yeah, that's the banner. Put that on one of our things, for sure. Bye. 
So many points. So many points. The computer got that one. For the AI. Let's grab a few runes first. Just so we're not totally inept. That. It's kind of nice having two things in an army. Just, you know, hold down that center line. Tanking out. So doors are all about, really. Flash bulbs are pretty good. Slowness is decent as well. Master of Runecraft. Okay. Yeah, I'll take these two next. And Death Gorge as well. Yeah, we're spread kind of thin down here, but it's not its not too bad, I think. We think we got it. I think we can afford Belagar to head out. Belagar, roll out. Armed and ready. <laughs> what? Nutter. Where are we going to go take Nutter? Have him come down this way. I think we're gonna need him when we go to war with uh, Marathi. Inevitably, we're gonna need to take Lamy and all that stuff. So yeah, Nutter can come on down. Come on down. Oh yeah, Logan. Finally, it's a victory, but we lose nearly our entire army. I'm just gonna keep. Uh, well, we'll try getting a, a ram. For the ancestor gods. Yes, yes. Okay, time to fix our economy. My anger burns bright. The Man, can't wait to level this up again. Not gone bad, making the big 4.3k. That's nice. I grow restless. Okay. Yeah, I think Chaos must have turned around and headed back uh, northwest. It's interesting. Because they had three armies at one point, like right in here. And I was, well, they, they had taken these two places that came down with those three armies. And then haven't come any south, further south past Sipgor, so, which is unusual. They must have been enticed by something else up here. Oh, look at that. The Count's making a comeback, kind of, sort of. Let's see. It's to be determined. Auric. Okay, let's fix the shitstorm that is this settlement. Okay, so we built that. I don't think we need to do that now. Yes, since we acquired this. So I think we're good there. Uh, this can probably... Yeah, because this doesn't add to our uh, capacity for things. I think a lot of people miss that. It's easy to overlook. So let's destroy that. And just go for the money. Keep the growth. Growth's at 106, yeah, it's kinda low. We'll pump up the growth here. And then we need to get rid of this army, for sure. Yeah. Let's see what this guy got, nothing? Yeah. Now he's only level three, yeah, get out of here. All right, and our economy's pretty, pretty well fixed. Little, little ten rainsmith over here. Rune Lord of Shove him in here. All these great weapons. Ugh, gross. I mean, a couple here and there are fine, but yeah, get out of here. Uh, yes. Let's see, these wood elves are. Not sure about us. They're not sure. 
At least we're not at war with anyone over here, really. Like, uh, Tic Tac Toe likes us. You know, it's, it's okay. It's all right. It could be worse. If you want something done right, uh, hop over here. Uh, there's gotta be Skaven over here. Let's see. Bring the rock. Can't quite hop through. Are we at? Uh, we're not even garrisoned. Right now. Okay, interesting. Um, we're at plus 16 of a quarter. Good, good. Okay, so we'll hop up here, and then underway through out. here next turn. And kind of scout around over here. It is time. Okay, let's start going into both gold production. We need to need up that by a lot. I'm not gonna bother. Actually, let's take. Try how far away is uh, Nutter? He's still pretty far away. I'll bring over Joseph as well. Oh, commandment, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, that's good growth. The growth! Oh, shit. Queek out there with a couple slaves. Yeah, I don't think I can win that. Queek is, is actually pretty strong. He's got his items. He's kicking ass. Yeah, someone's slowly withering away, uh, or his chaos, they're getting beaten down. I'm surprised this guy hasn't confederated with Carl yet, that's kind of strange. Uh, shame for display. Yeah, sure. Okay. Here, well, let's not go to war with Marathi quite yet. Let's wait till we have a few more armies down here in this area. Always our best. Okay, what do we got here? Let's do that. It's big time growth. We'll get rid of that. Alright. On we go! Guy. Jump. Okay. Nice. Fairly used up any movement. Sweet. Well, yeah, let's go down this. It's main line. Thorgrim's only just begun. We got, we got some iron drinks in here. Yeah, ammunition plus 50%. Oh my god. Throw banners! Yeah, we should crush these guys. Funny if these three armies just all came in and converged on Thorgrim. Just poop on them all at once. Okay, Get some money. Let's put it back into infrastructure. Wasteland. Nutter. 
and for the spike. Joseph, let's hop on through. About now. Let's check on our siege. Oh, that's right. We were sieging for one more turn. Yeah. That should do it. Should do it. A little money left over. Here's this. Ah, oh, yes, we need to bed this guy. Okay, yeah, we've got room for him. The story's actually pretty cool. I, I uh, recently made it, but I haven't fought with it yet. Wait, no, I take that back. We, we used it at this battle, taking Greg Dromar. That was a good battle. That was pretty spicy. Okay. Welcome, guys. You guys are doing well out there. Oh. Yeah, a lot of factions not looking so hot. Hey, it's the Fae. I think this is the first time of interacted with her. Okay. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. Okay. Oh, there's chaos. I have a um, RTX 2060 and a Ryzen uh, 5600, I think it's, yeah, it's one of the newer Ryzen processors, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, yeah, SSD, nothing special. I'm going to be getting a um, either a 3070 Ti or a 3080 here soon. Like next month for my birthday, my parents are gonna get me one. So, uh, yeah. But uh, the twenty sixty is, you know, it it can, it plays this game while streaming on like a mix between ultra and high. I can I take a few things down on the graphics, but most of it's on ultra. So it does a pretty well job, pretty good job. I'm pleased with it. But it should be noticeably better once I get a uh, the thirty series cards. Oh yeah, close. 2016, yeah. Ready. Onward. It is time. Okay. These guys got I can finally see what their forces are. No. This army is significantly better than this one. Well, not a ton better, but quite a bit better. What do I have to counter these? Oh man, I don't have much. I have some artillery myself, but these uh, oh cannons are gonna be a pain. Ready. Should have got some gyrocopters. It is time. On the ground. You probably don't have lightning strike, do you? Nope. Okay. Yes. We'll go. See if there's a lord we can swap not with. No. Uh, no. Hey Hayden. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yep, decided to stream today. You 
must have watched a part of yesterday, son. I'm glad you stopped by today. Oh, so we, uh, it's a DIY. I, I built this c current computer myself about a year ago, right before the price hikes. Um, like, like a month before the, the price hikes went crazy after the 30 series drops. And then there's a shortage, right? Uh, so now that, now that prices are coming back down and they're kind of sort of normal, I'm going to finally pull the trigger on it. And it's going to be a birthday present, so it's not a, not a terrible time to buy. What about you? What do you have? What do you game on? Oh, hey, uh, do you recognize any of the units or characters in this game? Because you play uh, Blood Bowl, right? The Blood Bowl's based directly on like this this world, this universe, the Warhammer I fantasy universe. We'll come back to those guys. Hey, you can. Doing it. Not a bad sack, but I don't want to take it. Oh That's man. Who was tier four? Excellent. Nice, it's got that. Yep, damn right. Yeah, I uh I really enjoyed making my, this last computer. It was a lot of fun. It's like my baby. I don't have any kids, but well, I have a cat and a PC, my two babies. That and that and that. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this is uh, Games Workshops IP. Um, based off to their their tabletop game from the early '80s called. Warhammer Fantasy Battles. It's what the same company that makes 40k. Like you and I, you know, we played 40k back in the day. Um, this is the same company. Are the doors we remain. Nice, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be starting a uh, Chaos Dwarves army for on the tabletop here in a couple months because they're bringing back this game, the tabletop original version of it. Which is what inspired this game, Blood Bowl, all of that. Vermintide, Vermintide one and two are based off this this IP as well. All the same stuff. We should play Vermintide together. And also the 4K version of Dark Tide is coming out soon, which is like an FPS uh, Warhammer 4K game. It looks really good. I'll probably stream that. In fact, yeah, I'm almost certain I will. That's cool that the doors are your main, dude. The doors are my first campaign in this game. Back when the first one came out, Total War Warhammer 1, my very first campaign was the dwarves. Ooh, look at that. Okay, Nutter. Nutter's gonna grab the spike beat. Oh, I'm still doing 40k. Yeah, dude, I still have 40k. My, like, most of my miniatures, about, well, 95% of them are 40k. And I play the Dark Angels um, and Death Guard. Yeah. And Black Legion. So I have three 40k armies, basically. Oh, and Tyranids. But I, yeah, I have Tyranids. So I have four 40k armies. You should get back into it, dude. We can play. I eventually want to start streaming uh, battle reports as well, like filming live tabletop battle reports in this same room. It's perfect for it. Yeah. I'll fight a battle here soon, guys. <laughs> it's been what do you want? for the lazy, as Legend would say. Master. Yeah, Vermintide was so sick. 
I played it a little bit with Joe when it first came out, Vermintide 2, that is. Um, but I haven't played it in like well, a long time since then. Um, but sometimes I watch uh, Milk and Cookies Total War stream it a little bit or do VODs on it. Um, it does look fun. I've been I've been thinking about getting back into it, playing the Beastman expansion. Oh, he doesn't have any siege equipment. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Siege for one turn. I'm here. Rathy's just pumping out all these little half shit stacks out of here, just flooding them like towards the donut. <laughs> so weird. I am seed like cross. Decisive. I wonder if Khalid is still alive. She probably isn't. She's probably smushed. Nice product secured. Let's get some of that going. Uh, yeah. Do this. How can I help? Okay, now Grombi is heading towards Nagron. <laughs> I mean it this time. Let's see, let's zoom out on the map. So he's gotta go from here to literally across the map to about here so let's fucking do it let's do it <laughs> shit that's pretty that's pretty far Oh, look at that, they took you tar. Little fucks. Oh, very well. I'll move over here. Oh, it's Queek. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is like no clan scryers here, like hundred percent. Um, so I have to make a decision. Is now the time I wage war on them? And then it's pretty much a straight shot west to their capital. So I, this, I hit this place, take it, and then go probably hit either Mirage Liano next or Lucini. I'm not sure if uh, Aranessa still has. Uh, this her capital here, Sartosa. She might. It might be Clan Scryer. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm gonna, gonna need to take out these two places. And this is their capital right here, Scape of Blight, which is a fucking bitch to siege and take. Probably one of the hardest settlements in the game to take. Uh, but oh shit, Belgar needs some fucking artillery. Oh my gosh. Whew, glad I caught that now. While I can still recruit crap. Well, I could have recruited globally, but you know. Here, let's just let's yeah, let's recruit first and then wage war. I don't care if it has to be global or not. Just need some smarty. Ah, oh, crap! I, oh, I should have used my. <laughs> that was really dumb of me. Wow, my noob. I should have used that yes. movement to go into a camp stance so I could actually recruit globally instead of assume I could make it here. Uh, oh, whatever. Sometimes you just fuck up. Okay. Oh, Hayden, who is your favorite, um, character to play in Vermintide? Which class? Class or character, however they describe it. Yeah, of course. 
was I taking? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess embedded. Little crap sacks. Yeah, that was me too. I kind of at least tried all the classes about equally. They've added some new ones since then that seem pretty cool. Like the Grail Knight uh, and um, Sister of the Thorn, I think. High Elf. Yeah. Can I help you? No, oh, I'm out of money. This is a catastrophe. Sorceress, yeah, that the one that is uh, like a fire mage. She was pretty cool. Not looking good. Oh shit. Oh, holding the garrison too. Dude. That'd be a hell of a battle. I just don't really have much of a way to counter those hell cannons. I do have some Chosen too. This army's got... Oh, four Chosen in this army. Two Great Weapon, two Regular. Aspiring Champions. Another Hell Cannon. No Chosen. Uh, a Death Caster. And is this a Caster? Yeah, Metal. Hmm. Uh. I probably should have fought that, but uh, I should have recruited some gyrocopters to flank around and take out the volcanoes. Or at least, this is what I need to do with those armies. I need to recruit some um, more faint cav. More faint cav, yes, because we need some fast. Fast flankers to take out hell cannons. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be fighting more chaos armies. I think they have a few more stacks out there. There's a good chance we will. It's not that A top down dungeon crawler 40k game. Um, oh, I think you're thinking of. Uh, I never played it, but it was like. Uh, not Demon Hunter. What was it, Demon Hunter? You play as an Inquisitor, right? Oh, it was Inquisitor, I think. Inquisitor, yeah, 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 Inquisitor, yeah. Yeah, I never played that game. So it was like Diablo, right? Dungeon Crawler. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. That's cool. I might get it now. Hey, that sounds rad. It's not like a hack and slash 40k Inquisitor. Dope. 
That does sound really fun. Yeah, we need a couple of these guys. Inquisitor, yeah. Is there an expansion out for that yet? I think I, think I remember seeing an expansion for it on Steam. There's another 40k game that came out uh, about a month ago called um, Chaos Gate. And it's uh it's it's not a, a dungeon crawler, it's a it's like XCOM. It's like turn based squad combat. And you play as a, a squad of like four or five Grey Knights, Grey Knights chapter, Space Marines, and go on missions and travel around in your ship and like there's a tons of augmenting and customization on your squad members, so it's, it's really cool, really cool. I've played it for about 20 hours, maybe. I, I should play more of it. I might stream it, actually, but it's, it's really good. I really liked Chaos Gate. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta you gotta play a, a hard grind, you know? Totally know how it does. Like, I, I, let's see, I ground a lot in Destiny, WoW, probably most of all. Um, Time for a reckoning. Yeah, so many games. Yeah, Diablo 3. What I like about this game is that there's tons of replayability, but not really in the form of grinding. You just like you just start a new campaign, and it's like a, it's a new sandbox experience, you know. Yes. Uh, I, I want to venture out north and recapture these settlements, but I need to. Well, I can do it with Ungram. I need to go slowly though, because uh, Mulgo needs to heal up for another two turns. In the meantime, I think I'll scout ahead a little bit. So. Okay, nothing. Let's take our Thane out and go up a little further. Just scout up here a little ways. Okay. Barbary wants to take Maroc, but. I need to keep going this way. I'm here now. Attack! Close defeat. That'll keep siege. No rush. Need to focus on our goal. This campaign, uh, this Dwarven one, um, let's see, this is episode six. So, about we've done five, so I think I'm getting close to 20 hours so far. We're probably like around hour 15, 16, yeah, roughly. The campaign I uh, launched the show with um, and started out playing, so campaign number one, was Beastmen. That was, I think, about eight or nine episodes long. Maybe use the iron drakes to roast some zombies. Hot steam, hot, hot steam loads on the zombies. Sounds kind of fun. Let's do it. I think we have military access. With, yeah. Let's see. We got. Uh, uh, yeah. 
It's home in Gorst. Oh, Gorst. I am the Slayer King. It is time. Take the realm. Torgrim. Okay, I've turned off taxation. This. Uh, how many hours per full campaign? Um, it varies. I'd say on the lower side, campaigns are like around 80 turns. And that's, I don't know, maybe that's around, we're at turn 110 right now, so maybe 15 hours, 10, 15 hours, like on the shorter end, and then upwards of like 300 turns, which, you know, three times that. Um, so you can... You can go campaigns like really long if you wanted to, um, but you don't have to. Like you, you get the achievement for whatever the initial goal is for whatever faction you're playing. You can achieve that fairly quickly in about eighty turns, um, eighty to one hundred and twenty or so is the usual. Um, and then there are in up up through game two, which is what this is. There's like twenty or so lords. Um, so the the factions are broken down into uh, legendary lords, and there's an average of like four, so usually like three to six legendary lords uh, per per race. Uh, so there's around like yeah the low twenties I think of legendary lords. Um, so that's how it's broken down basically. So each one of those. So think of it in terms of lords that you can play as not necessarily factions. Factions is like a, a bigger up umbrella over that, if that makes sense. So there's a lot. Like, there's, this game is big. And so Game 3 came out about five months ago. And I would be playing that, but it's not quite... It's still... It's not technically in beta, but it's still kind of in beta, to put it simply, right? Um, it is launching a new sandbox mode to it in about a month so sometime in August and at that point it's going to re-attract at least temporarily or maybe permanently uh, it's major, it's it's larger portion of it's fan base which are now, we've all been playing game 2 which is what this is um, so uh I'll likely be switching over to streaming game three in about a month. Most likely. It's not guaranteed, but most likely. Um, and game three, at this point, at, uh, yeah, according to this video, um, I think has seven lords? No, eight. Eight. Eight factions. Each one having a, a single legendary lord. No, there's more than that. There's eight factions, and then you have about two to three lords. Um, well, one to three, I should say. Yeah, one to three legendary lords um, for the eight additional factions of game three. But they're combining. So in a month when I'm, along with most of the community, going to be switching over to game three again um, to experience the sandbox mode that is being released for it, uh, all the game two factions are going to be combined into with the game three. So it's just going to become a one big game. That's how it's broken down. It is time for the Let's see what we got here. Oh. Goodbye. Decent stuff. The High King. Acts. These guys want to no. attack me. They can go for it. Oh, here's that rebellion. Foolish thing. No. Archers. Grab a couple warriors. Ouch. Well, good enough. What do you want? Kind of in a rush. <laughs> Just need to get Cromberdol across the map. It's 
kind of a speed run. Nice, it gives some stock. Little sniper dwarf. Okay, so we're going to be going to war with Marathi here soon. And then we're also going to be going to war with Ikeclaw soon. Uh, as well as Nagarond. Because, well, we're heading for their capital. Hey, Matt. What's up, Matt? Ready. Were you watching a Legend stream, Matt? Some artillery here. Let's get rid of. Yeah, we have way too many long birds. Oh, nice. One turn global recruit. Oh, out of money. Crap. Where is that recruit? Some crap. Boy. I really want some organ guns, but they're three turn recruit. It's just. Ugh. Or flame cannons. Five turns. Brutal. Okay, that's good. Hey, Storm Rage. Uh, no, not going for full domination. Uh, I'm going uh, for the initial goal I set out myself uh, at the very beginning of this campaign um, to basically uh, take Nagarond. So specifically with uh, Gromrindle. So I'm going to take Gromrindle and Belagar and head uh, towards Nagarond this episode and do that. And in the meantime I'm, I'm taking out my neighboring enemies simultaneously I guess. Nutter. Oh man, will it be Nutter that initially uh, hits, uh, hits Marathi? <laughs> Trying to be uh, subliminal about that, but I fail. Just heal up. More Grimm. Bailagar. We'll go. Come on up. That's I right. To clan and hold. Joseph. Ceiling. On ground. <laughs> You're scouting. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah. It's the new dude. Burrick. Sieging. Research about the mines. It was pretty much just done it all. In terms of economic upgrades. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. 5% tax rate on commandments for that specific commandment. Board recruit rank as well. Ooh, rat poison. I should probably go for that, huh? Oh, I need this. Let's get this regardless. Hayden, do you think you'll uh, ever build yourself a PC? Or at least pick out the parts or choose oh, one. I could build you one if you wanted. Honored dwarf king. Uh, I mean, you may already have a gaming PC, I'm not sure. I know you typically play a lot of consoles. Send your king my last time I checked. Yeah. 
Safeguard. Yes. Those guys are green. I'm not ready. What you can see is composition. My anger burns. Oh crap. I need flashman. Oh, it's so terrible over here. Let's do this. Onward. Yeah, we'll be back. Master of Runecraft. <laughs> no decade. Oh man, we have to change that. We have to change that. Oh, that's right, you played WoW. Yeah, 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 okay. I remember that. Oh, you played Path of Exile as well? Nice. I never played that one, but I heard that was really good. That was uh, Dungeon Crawler, right? It's kind of like Diablo. Heard good things about it. Logan to help smash Marathian. with Marathi going and it's creeping down. That's for sure. Not even more so that I'm trespassing on him. Send me to vengeance. That's good because it's an extra capacity for engineers. Nice, nice. Oh, let's do that. Week. I don't know why you're just standing here, but get off my lawn. Nice. Okay, we well, got quite a bit of room now. Justifiable amount to make some shit. Scout north a little more. By the king's command. Forwards. Beards in belt. Okay, interesting. I think. To war. We're in the clear. Uh, the clear. Let's move on up and retake. Will be Super core. With this. Uh, Excellent combination. Yes. The slayer in me is dead. Colonization is brutal. Summon me 
We'll sit and we'll go here for one more turn. Uh, we'll recruit a couple, a couple more units here soon. Ah, yes. Order from Master of Runecraft. Let's just, uh... Okay, you know, so we're already at war with them. Okay. If we weren't, I was going to beg for money from the Empire. <laughs> well, not beg, but make a deal. Lord of Clan Just hop on right there. Yep. Get on it. Don't mind me. I'll just burn it down. The Empire can take it. I don't really care. I don't want to hold on to it. Welcome, guys, for whoever's joined recently. Friends of the Dowie. Oh, Cetra. Time to take out this rebellion, probably. Oh, Jesus. The rat ogre is out of nowhere. Can I help you? Let's bring in the garrison. No, it does not. Okay. Oh. Let's get some slayers to help kill those rat ogres. We'll get some blast charges. Yeah. I like blast charges against the Skaven, just clear out hordes of slaves. Send me to vengeance. The runes are cast. Kids in belts. No, no. She Who calls me? Conde. He's trekking it. Get it out. <laughs> He's getting there. Let's have faith in him. Excited for uh, Immortal Empires. Oh, nice map. Yeah, was it your first time with Grumpy? This is probably my third campaign with Grumpy, I think. It's been a while since I've played him. But I was watching Legend of Total War a couple weeks back, and he was. I can't remember which lord he was playing as initially, but he confederated with Grumpy, and I was like, ah, oh, that. Crazy looking dwarf. I just got my white dwarf magazine in the mail and I was like, uh, alright. The white dwarf. Oh, there goes our money. That's okay. So, yeah, Logan is gonna head south to the islands here. Which probably Nutter. Maybe Joseph. Shot. No, Joseph's gonna come around through here and take Lane, yeah. Very cool. Very cool map. Rude Lord. What do you want? Let's see what's our capacity at for heroes. <laughs> Seven out of four. What? <laughs> oh nice. So our buildings are completed, so we have Room for four more rune smiths. That's pretty cool. Let's see, we can we build that special building. Is that here? Crack Azul? I think it is. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. 
Eyebrows Weapon Shop. Weapons Shops. It's pretty good. Need to get to uh, tier 4 though. It's a little ways off. Nice, yeah, I watch Legend most days too. Yeah. As you know, when you see me in chat all the time. What? Yes, it would. Yeah, I'd just be starting up there. I'd be done in like 20 turns. Yeah. It's funny because I set that goal at the beginning of this campaign like a couple days before they made that map announcement or like the map reveal that showed him starting up there. So it was just kind of ironic. Which is another reason why I decided to stream today instead of taking the day off. This campaign is a uh, an omen foreshadowing of what to come. Just got a little more. I'm pretty sure it's unoccupied here at Crack Park, so I'm not even going to bother searching it. I'm just going to keep scouting. Okay, we'll go. You ready to move up? Yeah. Sweet. Come on up. Ungrim. Right up and stay inside our territory so we continue regening. Next turn we'll take Crack Vlog. Oh, it's Boris. It's old Taddy. Taddy too hotty. Well, fight the fort together with Taddy, but it's not even worthwhile. Okay, just crappy garrison. Let's just put it out of its misery. I'm just gonna raise it. Carl can have it. There you go, Carl. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Oh, I torch the moot. It's kind of funny how the moot is. Is there any lore behind that, guys? Like, why the moot is its own single settlement province, and yet so small? I got it. I'm gonna get it. There's gotta be a reason for that. Fence, huh? I'd say get it, but just wait until Mortal Empires comes out. So, like, probably like two, two to four weeks. Yeah, I'll just wait two to four weeks, and then, uh, and then get it on sale if you can. I think it's gonna be good, but like Legend says, it's still any it time in the oven. It's still bacon. Durthu, guys, check this out. I don't like that, Durthu. I don't like that. It's getting a little sketch. Oh, here comes this guy. Always go with this one. Okay. Yeah, let's get this. Once we uh, don't need to grow our settlements anymore, I'll switch over to the increased tax rate commandment. And this will boost up quite a bit. 
And that's where you start making pretty good money, like 60 G a turn kind of stuff. Now let's scout first, because I don't want to settle this place and then get counterattacked by an army that I can't see up here. Clear. It is time. I must fulfill my I'm so beat up, I get onward. Brutal. Let us begin. We'll go. Let's move up to. Let us be about this. Right about here, I want to recruit a few more things with him. Oh, we're out of money. Well, whatever. Take the realms. That. You know who I am. Looks like these guys are racing with us. Oh, that's old malice. Oh no, that definitely makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you, you seem to be very, you know, dedicated once you start. So you, you go hard when you begin, and uh, you know, just get everything, get the most out of what you're playing. So yeah, if, if with that mentality, I think you have a lot left to explore one too. So yeah, there's no rush in getting three. I mean, maybe get it like a year from now, or whatever, maybe two years from now. But there's so much gameplay. In, in both game one and two, uh, mostly two, because game two is game one as well. It's, they just combined it, you know. Um, but yeah, game two is amazing, and it's it's huge. There's a lot, a lot to play. Oh, can't quite reach him. Yeah, tower defense is not that great. It's okay. I'm indifferent about it. I don't really mind it, but I don't like it. If that makes sense. What do you want? Calls rat ogres. Could fight it. Yeah, it's fine. Fuck it. I don't need to. It was a decisive victory, but I haven't fought a battle yet in the stream. So, we need some action. Glad I recruited those two slayers. I'm gonna need them. Yeah, Hayden, I feel like you would like the Skaven in this game. If you played the Skaven at all in Blood Bowl. They're, uh, they're one of my favorite factions. They're just so funny. I don't know if they're a DLC. Maybe. Um, probably. They're the all like uh, the rats. It's the rat faction. These guys. Their lord. Rat ogres. 
Thanks. Yeah, just wanted to show you a little bit. Ring a bell. <laughs> Blast him! Just started blasting. Charge back in, take it back out. Those guys got a little elevation. We got this. The Slayers. Night Rider's just getting in there. And Army lost his in a second. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, mine was pretty much non existent uh, until I started playing um, the first game. Put him a Warhammer 1 in 2015, I think, with Joe. I, at that point, I really didn't know much at all about Warhammer Fantasy. Just out of range. Bad. 
dwarves have pretty good mass, so uh, with that, they're able to roadblock ride ogres fairly well, better than most infantry. Salmon. Good snack is to feed trade. Wanted. Yes. Growth. All right, guys. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick while the turn passes. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, we intercepted these guys, huh? Okay. Ah. Welcome to whoever joined. Welcome. 
Friends of the Dowie. No. Get out of here. Things just got rid right. of Let's keep hold. scouting. Boom. Oh, nice. That just completed a quest. Ah, it was for the Axe of Dargo, which is really good. Should probably do that quest battle. Onwards. Okay. Ah, to die in battle. Growth. Um, actually, no, let's fortify these areas. Oh, make growth anyways. Let's do that. Because let's prep for the second chaos invasion. Um, we may not have it activate, uh, but just you know, just to be on the safe side. We're dwarves after all, right? We fortify, we entrench. That. Okay. Morgrim might actually encounter the chaos armies. Just a little access to the water here. We'll start cruising over. Although we don't need to necessarily go by water. Um, well, let's hop across the water here at least, and then get back on land and head towards Rajvanano, because, yeah, we're going to need to two man that place. Most likely, maybe not. Send me to vengeance. What? Is this their last settlement? Might be. Retake the realms. No. What? That. Welcome, guys. The new joiners. to wrapping up uh, this Grumbill campaign. Uh, our mission at this point, our final goal, is to take Grombi and a couple other lords. Uh, in this case, it's probably going to be Grombi and Belagar and Thorgrim. And send them towards uh, Nagron and take it. Just to kind of finalize it in a thematic way, I guess you can say. And in the process, we'll be at war with a few other factions as well, including Marathi over here, who we're about to go to war with, as well as Ikaclaw. We'll be going to war with him in probably two turns. Uh, this guy needs some... Yeah, we need to recruit some artillery. We need at least one artillery in this army. So let's get rid of these guys. And we'll get rid of the long beard. I do. Get some already. Oh, we need gold. Yeah, this should give us some gold. These guys turned around and sieged us again. The 
go. Get a couple of rooms for this guy, so he's able to do something on the battlefield. What do you want? Okay, so Nutter just recruited his artillery. He's got some shower copters. What else does he need? We don't have any iron breakers yet, or hammers. We've been doing pretty well without the super elite stuff. More so relying on uh, iron drakes, coralers, gyrocopters. I don't want to wait around for three turns to recruit some infantry at all, so. Well, let's just get. Well, actually, no, let's keep a couple slots open in his army for some heroes. We'll recruit some heroes here. guy to be a shotgun wielder, the Grage Rucker, or Grudge Raker, I should say, or be a sniper. I like them both. Both styles are fun. Let's the shoddy. The first one was a, a shotgunner. I named him Scotty Too Shoddy. Artillery is recruited, then we'll step in. Squash Marathi. With three armies. What? Nice. Oh, yeah, we should tax the province. Maybe not. Eh, I guess. It's stabilized. Although. That's because Thorgrim's there. Yeah, it's not dexing. I'm gonna correct it faster. Deathmaster. Ah. Oh shit. He's got uh, quite a bit better army. He's upgraded. Things a little more interesting. I'll have to. Who should we have go after him? We should delegate one of our armies to do that. Designate. Do not Fendel. Oh. No, oh, I saw that coming. Dirthy have decided to cancel their non-aggression packs. Okay. I actually really don't want to fight them, so I'm kind of kind of sad by that. Yes. Money. Vengeful Structure buildings are a little more important than pumping out the heroes at this point. We'll get there in due time. Um, let's keep 
Thorgrim. Since he's so close to Gromby, let's just keep both of them just trucking along. Okay, it's almost to the water. Okay. He's got his artillery. Let's prep for the assault on Lamia. From three different armies. Admiral Leech is just in her face here. What's he doing? Tempted just to fight him right now, just to get him out of my face. Okay, the Shafen looks like it's the capital of the vampire counts now. No one there. Interesting. Billigar. Well, it gets. He controls Dragonhorn Mines, so. Let's wait, though. Let's wait till we get Gromby and Thorgrim up in a better position, like up on here by Lucini. And then we'll pull the trigger and hit with Belgar as well from down here. Yeah. He is, he is. I think it's an excellent plan. Welcome, guys. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. Oh, Carl. Greetings, son. So strange how they haven't confederated yet. Deadly onslaught. Oh yeah. Master of Runecraft. Okay, these two armies are in position. Actually, let's move this guy up a little bit more. Setting off. Yeah. And oh, I'm so tempted. I'm tempted to do it. Public order doing. Okay, good. Seems to be stabilized over this area. Let's take a little glance. So we've secured a lot of provinces now. There's not many left that we haven't fully secured. Getting there. Thought my cat made a noise there for a second. Time for treasure. Well, maybe this one up there. Oh. Typhus rat. Typhus rat. Okay. Typhus rat. Might intercept me, but I'm cool with that. That's right, so he's positioned. More groom. Well, let's hit the Shafen. Do we want the Shafen? Let's see. It's the capital. We have the capital, but nothing else. It's tier 4 right now. Uh, Attrition not too bad, actually. We have Kislev, too. And some Austria. Yeah, let's just take it. It's a capital. Okay. Oh, Manfred. Uh, 
might find this one. Let's see. Let's take a look at Manfred. Okay. The armory actually looks fairly decent from what I can see. Not great, but does have a more decision. But a king! I wish I could see some more armies around here. I wonder if it's chaos. I bet it is. But it's chaos and armies that are sieging Prague right now. Yes. For the wisdom okay. of Valea. Let's move up. Volgo. I must fulfill my Where's our scout? Oh, it's ready to get wounded. Fuck. Summon me if you dare. Our hero is up here. Nearly got murked. I am the Slayer King. Okay, well. This is for war. To war. Gold. It looked like it a thousand, and then I'm just gonna spend it all. Oh shit! It's all. Oh, his army's so bad. Fall back! Ah, oh, Deathmaster. We could claw waged war on us. Uh, oh no, he confederated. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, so we are at war with the claw. And I just murked him <laughs> really badly. Okay, so Eshin is now. Now then, Manlin, what brings you here this day? Confederated. I guess, dude. I'd just like to be able to see where your armies are. Yeah, of course, Manfred comes out. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh, he's got a pretty good army. Oh boy. damage we have no magic damage we have some fire I think these ethereal units are just gonna absolutely rock us. <sighs> well, I'll try it. Luckily, they don't have much Grave Guard. What tune is a Grave Guard? Just a lot of cav. Terrible. I think 
back here is the only like kill zone that's worth creating. They're just gonna be able to flank so effectively. Through all these trees, they could just have Cav come through here. Come through here, smash it from both sides. Could try starting here and then moving immediately to like here. This is gonna be work. This is not gonna work very well. This is gonna go poorly. <laughs> I already have a feeling. Uh, I'm liking this area back here more and more. Because I think I could bait them around with my gyrocopters. And if I can have them just kind of wander into my kill zone here, piecemeal, uh, that might be effective. Yeah, let's let's try that. My cannon in the center. Crutch through another side. Yeah, I guess, I guess this is good enough. I mean, it's gonna go really poorly, but... Whatever, I might play this one slow out. Sorry, guys. Thank you some picks.
mentioned they do have Manfred, who's 90 speed versus 126, okay. Nice, he's baiting out, we're not baiting out heals. Manfred, pretty happy. Flame him, flame him, flame him. Firing boys. Fuck, I didn't want my torpedoes to come in. So tanky. Keep firing, boys. Bring down the chill, guys. Oh no.
Oba is full. There you go. Cinematic shot. Up the guns, boys. All right, do our own troops. Oh god. I'm surprised our warriors are lasting this long. It's excellent. charge into our tracks. Some decent kills on our grudge throwers, not too shabby. Fire. Good. Come on, keep firing. Keep firing, boys. Fire. Come on. Yeah, we're getting chained out of here in a second. Oh well. Yeah, I knew I couldn't win this one. Let's just watch some good volleys with troll hammer torpedoes. Come on, launch away. Pop some zombies. That's pretty satisfying. Oh shit. It's a claw to gash. Just able to take advantage of our flanks too easily. Did a fair amount of damage to the infantry. kills. Yeah, they had tons of renowned units in that army. South their army was renowned. Welcome newcomers. Welcome, welcome.
Well, that was a little painful, but ultimately it doesn't matter. Now we're actually making a, a decent amount of money that we can put back into our structure. I must fulfill my slight role. Okay, ground is on the water. We are moving. We're moving into grooving. On my way. Let's see what's at Sartosa. Who is that? Ah, it's Aranessa. She's still alive. Interesting. Huh. It's gonna be quite a garrison there too, I'm sure. It'd be a fun battle though, actually. Let's fight that. Throw her in there. Bash, hello. Greetings, welcome. Yes. Aye, it will better our cause. I don't want to take Trish in there. From bearers, move. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. Speed, gotta start somewhere. Oh, yes, okay, so this is the army. It's the Storic's army. We need to reformat it. I shouldn't have had him jump over the pass here into this territory. Oh, well, I mean, that that army is terrible. Army of Queeks. This garrison's actually fairly decent. And Thor just only has one artillery. He doesn't have. He needs quarrelers. I mean, he busts some quarrelers, right? It's, yeah. Grudge throwers and bolt throwers. It'd be fun to make like a bolt thrower. I don't know. A mix of bolt throwers and grudge throwers. Uh, we'll make some stuff for him here soon. Let's hop back across. Plus, we need to go up and kill. Yeah, we need to resecure this area. This is just. It's just too much. Can't handle. I mean, we can't handle this, but I, I won't, won't tolerate it. <laughs> what should we build here? Let's save some money up and get some advanced, advanced stuff. Nutter. Should we pull the trigger? I think we should. Admiral Leash is still staring us down. Got us. I'm down ready. Like, ah, I suppose so. This is what you get, Admiral. This is what you get. Ooh, going to war with Macrond. is with us. He runs. Oh fuck. Runelot. That's what you get for staring me down, dude. I don't like it. Oh, these are red to us? Ugh. How bad it is. 50% extra construction cost, 100% extra construction time, less money, less growth. It's just terrible. But I think I'll take it anyways. Just not build it up. Just build it up just enough so that the public order is stabilized. Ish. Are there any resources here? I mean, there's, okay, there's furs there and a special building here. Okay. And each one of it is, has a, a port as well, so. That's probably, I guess, worth taking. It's, uh, probably shouldn't, it, but whatever. Dead Rock's the capital, I believe, yeah. Okay. Just, 
Stop there. Is there attrition here? Oh, chaos attrition. 59%. Wow. Oh, right, because it's, it's Marathi. She imbues chaos corruption. That's correct. Okay. Forgot about that. Well. Wait till next turn when I, I'll be able to hop on land and go into a camp stance and just in camp crawl over the dead rock. But cat's out of the bag now, so we just need to keep keep smashing her. Okay, take it. Nice. You know, gives us this province here. Chatting. Let's get. Untainted for now. I'll go with the taxes here. Nice. Extra level 1200. My anger. No, we can hit Lamia. Lamia. Vengeance. Lose some heroes. Let's fight this one. Yeah, let's fight it. I noticed an army right off the coast in the water. So I want to take these guys out before they're able to uh, counterattack us. We're going to leave the siege, or at least attempt to. This will just be mostly hero hammer here. Like ghosty boys. Those pyramids are cool. Okay. Rune Lord. Two Thanes. We have Rune Smith as well. Okay. Good. Two Thanes and an Engineer. Engineer has a sniper rifle, essentially. Two artillery pieces. Hopefully these towers aren't too brutal. So we'll need to keep some guys back to protect our artillery from the Ushapti zones. Which are inevitable. Fighting against the Tomb Kings here. Tomb Kings are like Egyptian undead. Yeah, undead with a uh, Egyptian theme to it. They're pretty cool. They have like constructs and stuff, like sphinxes and shopty. Oops, these guys. Bowman Rangers are so cool. Little badasses. Okay. Oh. The Rangers. Not quite as cool looking. And our great axe guys. Oop. These guys can kind of throw over the wall certain targets. Okay. And they're little cannonball towers, not the greatest, but it's okay. Taking the fire. Ready. Ready to serve. Warriors. Honored. 
Oh, wait, I don't know, I take that back. These are the Dark Elves. Yeah, sorry guys. Sorry, Hayden. <clears throat> I forgot. This, this is a Tomb King settlement, but the Dark Elves have taken it over. I love the sound effects in this game. It's so well done. It's like D-Day. Guys. Tower's almost down. Taking a few shots. Look, we got shields. We got a little hag. Hag witch. Or a uh, death hag, I mean. Let's try to avoid friendly fire. Oh, we need to watch out for the shop. Yeah, that's right. Shit, I forgot to keep this back. Let's keep. This is the beauty of having uh, arrows, either crossbows or bows, because of the arc, they're able to shoot over the walls like this, you know, shooting onto these Corsairs. With uh, handguns, muskets and stuff like that, or cannons, you're not able to shoot arc shots over the wall as much. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Ah. Oh no, she's your conduit. Fuck. I'm sorry, Longbeards. Oh, that was terrible. Rip. It's alright. They kind of survived. Well, let's bring back our infantry. <laughs> Don't get your shoppy summons. Okay. You're right. Yeah, yeah, because they're dark elves. Yeah, you're right. Forgot about that. Good call. My archers back up. The subtle one's just gonna be all turn backwards. Let's do that again. Get in here, Rune Lord. Stay down, guys. Stay down. They got hit by a fucking a dark conduit. These handbows are kind of rocking us. Actually, try to hit these guys. 
Mega armor. Throwing axes through the, the gate. It's pretty epic. This guy's on top. Falling back. Killed her hero over here. Excellent. This guy's Done well, he's been taking that pretty hard. Kill these corollers. Just going in. Look how chonky he is. Look how thick that guy is. Deep back here. It ain't gonna save you, buddy. Heroes and view uh, fear and terror, so it just routed these guys. Ex Machina Meteors are those those explosions that you saw going off? Do you mean those? Um, those are one of the runes that a couple of my uh, hero, well, my lord in that army, and one of my heroes have it. Um, it's infinite amount of charges. Uh, but it, it has a pretty long cooldown, so I can't just spam it that up. I mean, I could, was kind of spamming it there because I had two characters I could do it, but um, the cooldown between each time is fairly long. But yeah, it's pretty powerful, huh? Ugh. 
Tamiya. Excellent. Armed and ready. Let's go. <laughs> that looks pretty high. Yeah, it's this rune here. Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Causes a large explosion, fire damage. Good against armor. So that, that way, it was, I mean, it was doing quite a bit of damage because it's fairly armor piercing uh, against those uh, Dark Elf Corsairs that was popping, blowing up. It's a pretty good spell against them. Or, technically, not a spell, I should say. It's a rune. The dwarves actually don't have magic in Warhammer, they don't use magic. They're like anti magic. Except for the Chaos Dwarves. The Chaos Dwarves, uh, the bad the bad ones, uh, delve into magic, practice magic at a cost. But they do. Nice, yeah, I'm glad you like that. Get a little some cinematic shots. I like getting zoom zoomed into those big explosions and stuff and crazy spells. It's fun watching the AoE damage in this game. Alright, so we got this new capital here. It's growth. It needs public order. We'll get that in a second. Oh, we're out of money. Now let's build public order first, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's that other army that I uh, noticed right as we went into the siege. Okay. So next turn, I'll recruit some. I'll get rid of some of these units in Thorax's army. We'll go. Yeah, I can scooch up, I suppose. Research available. What do we want here? It's so nice for the untainted. So do want rat poison. Causes fear. All characters are fighting against Skaven. It's pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm going for it. It's, yeah, it's ten thousand gold as well. Just not cheap, but be worth getting. Siege. I am the high king. Durthu. What are you doing, Durthu? Okay, now he wants non aggression again. What a weirdo. It's like 10 turns ago, he was like, well, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to, yeah. I can do this on my own. Comes crawling back. Oh, finally, Carl confederates with Averland. Jesus. Oh, our Thane's back. Sweet. Where is he? Oh, he's way fucking down here. Oh, man. I think he was the one we needed. Way up north. Tried and tested. It's all right. I'll put him in. Put him yes. in army. He's down here. Might as well. Thor could use a thing. So let's get rid of some of these. Some of these dudes. He's overhaul. Unbending. Nice making. Ten point six G a turn. Or K a turn. Grudge um, throwers. Use corollers. Thoric buffs up both grudge thrower catapults and corollar crossbows. There. Lugan. On my way. Oops, no, not raid. To a camp, yes. Mulga. I'm gonna sit tight with him here, but I can't. Yes. Yeah. 
Grande. Uh, I'm tempted to hit Sartosa. Let's hit Lucini first, though. I'm leaving. Oops. No, it didn't, didn't give me a notification that I hadn't moved him yet. Oh, oh well. Malus. Oh, oh man. Well, I should have seen this coming. Go to war with them. They turn all those little crap armies around. You take me out. Welcome. Friends of the Dowie. Cetra. No, that's what I do. I am the High King. Yeah, that's a good idea to bash. Yeah. Let's. This correct track is right here. Um, yeah, we could do that. Let's do it. Push out. It is time. I answer the class and hold. What orders? Give the faint on Rose. The clan on a strength of the shield wall. Ready. Alright, grudges will be settled. <laughs> Look it up. My vows will be with this. Okay. Turn off that. Okay. See what's here. Pyrrhic victory. Oh my god. It's because of all this high end shit, this first army. Well, let's definitely fight it. Definitely gotta fight it. I'll shut down these uh, Death Glow Bombardiers. Do you have the renowned driver bomber? If I can avoid getting hit by the rattling gunner, I could probably use him fairly effectively. Which map is it? Oh, okay, it's this map. We have the range advantage. Oh, the double, double flamers. Well, one steam, but same principle, double burnage. Hill here, I'm liking this hill. So we're gonna need to. Okay. Oh, this guy too shoddy. This guy, look at this short little shotgun. So badass. I keep him up on the hill a little bit. Some hand gunners. Okay. So 
called spread out our artillery a wee bit so that a single dollars below doesn't uh, decommission <laughs> shut down two or more of our catapults right Oh, yo, hey, I'm uh, fighting the Skaven now. The Rap Boys. Waste ammo on those guys. Gotcha. Okay, they spawn the rats. Oh, in the front. Interesting. Okay. machine gun on it. <laughs> oh, we're not over yet. Oh, it's gonna be a double. Get going, get going, get going. Ah. Oh. Oh, 
definitely got her. But. Bomb left, they can count. beating this guy. <laughs> Look at their lord. Ah, this was a mistake. Well, I'm coming for you. He's coming for you. Yeah, Hayden, exactly. Yeah, they're kind of like that. Dwarver from, uh... Uh, Elder of the Scrolls. It was a rat barbecue. Ah, he's gonna escape. It's okay. Shots are a little too inaccurate this range. A lot going on there. Look at the 256 kills on the Skolder Guard. Skiolda. Just ripped him a new one. Welcome. Welcome for those who just joined us. One of our grudge throwers get kind of taken offline by what well, dwellers below. It's kind of sloppy about that, but wanted to give you guys some uh, some good action. I am the white dwarf. I 
Right, isn't that such a funny mental image? And literal image. Exactly, Debash, yeah. And the Chaos Dwarves, um, who are coming uh, in probably a couple months. It's not a, quite announced yet, but it's they're coming, Chaos Dwarves. Um, they do use magic and Warhammer lore, but there's a, a, a drawback to doing so. Um, well, if you don't have any, you need to lace one unit on the ground. Um, otherwise, you lose ground, and it gives your whole army like a massive leadership penalty, where you basically just get like instant routed. I think. Um, so you need at least one guy on the ground, which can be done by like a foot lord, you know, easily. But um, and I could, I could do like a nineteen stack and have a lord on the ground, um, and have like nineteen flying units. You could totally do that. I've never done it. I think the most I've done was like half half an army of like flying copters um but you know it's i like a mix i like having a mix of ground units and flyers I'm here now. but what's cool about this game is you can just make like crazy crazy armies of just you know ridiculous compositions Fearless and unbreakable. When you create an army that uh, is composed of units that are just like, could be, you know, one of the same units or a mixture of different units, but is if that army that you make uh, is of like super high quality and is essentially unbeatable, just like super, super good, we call them in the community Doom Stacks. There's Crap Stacks, which I think you can imagine what a Crap Stack is, and then Doom Stacks. So that was our main army. That was Gromendel's army. He's getting there. I mean, at the beginning of today, he was quite a ways back. Oh, yeah, we do own this place now. Crap. Yeah, exactly. They they really did it. I mean, they kind of did. But the the AI is being stupid about it. Um, they could have. I had like all of their ranged units like in the back line scurrying around. They're like running away from my, my bomber, right? But a good player would have like been turning those units around. When like when one's running away, be tur turning the other ones around to fire. Because I couldn't be chasing all those guys at once. The computer was just be dumb about it. Uh, but in multiplayer, I, that thing would have gotten shot down. Like he, he had the, some ranged uh, answers, like a unit of uh, rally gunners and some, uh, even the Globies could do damage if, if I were staying still but I was as you can see I was trying to do a good job of like constantly be moving around back here. Look at that back. Don't 
quite out the province here, unfortunately. It's okay. True king. Billy God. Yeah, this lord is uh, buffing up our ranger units. Guys, the crossbows here and the throwing axe dudes. Joseph. Got some money to spend. Let's do. That and actually no, we need we need growth here. Yeah, we need growth. I do. Let's hop on down towards. If you say so, baby. Not sure yet. I should scout first. Not, don't be lazy, Brian. There's for sure Skaven there, without a doubt. Could send another hero to scout over here, but... Oh, let's see. Did we move this guy already? Yeah. Wait. Did we? No, we didn't. Okay. 15 garrison. Oh, this mountain passes. Siege it, see what we got. You're taking attrition? No, okay, good. We'll siege it. He might sally out and attack us if he wants to fight in an open field. I'm down with that. I sallied out. Uh, I think I could be a yeah um yeah. This is gonna be a pummeling with our artillery. All right, I'm gonna fight it and uh, use the bathroom while it loads. We'll be right back, guys.
one second, guys. Just refreshing my stream. There, should be back guys. Stream was entering a little lag period there. Okay. Yeah, I think we're we're good to go. We're back. to see if they had any dark conduit. Hopefully they don't. <laughs> Initial battle screen, like you know, comparing armies before a battle. Uh, it's usually just rubbish. <laughs> I don't even look at it. I look cool. Oh yeah. It looks good. Yes, Lord. Carnage. Blast the charges, boys. Fight. 
heave. Oh! <laughs> oh shit, Harvey's coming in. On chucking boys. Oh yeah, watch this carnage. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Oh shit, small browser, we don't want that. Need to shut down. Nothing can stop us. Going attack. Don't skirmish. Cover them. Reach for our reach fast. Wait to our blood at once. Born by cavalry. There we go. Slayer shut him down finally. Wrapping up their back line. Attack me! 
just stay out of combat. Nothing can stop us! Ready to strike! A mountain at home! Joy from the moon! Slayers! Nope. We're all out of ammo. Nice. Nope. Back. Black are going down. Shoot these ones. Shoot him up. Yeah, dark shards do shred armor. That's why our frontline guy just beat to shit. I finally shut him down with the Mornfang cap. Dark elves always do a lot of damage. It's just. They just hit hard. They go down hard, but they hit hard. Yeah, Dark Tide looks really cool. Pretty excited for it. Are you guys out there all gonna get it? Dark Tide? Week, just both running around their little shit stacks. Yeah, that's true, Hayden. If you ever want me to build you one, just let me know. I'll build you a beast of a PC. Confederated, the Throck confederated with uh, Deathmaster. Well, we'll find out. There's definitely Skaven there. Oh, yeah, 
have the conversion on Skaven Blight. They know the final fight, well, second to final fight, is going to be there. Fucks. Send me to vengeance. The runes are cast for the Karazhan Corps. How can I help? Need to be careful here. I'm here. I'll do it. Don't do that. Order princes, what are you doing here, dude? The nation calls. Two stacks, basically. Just chilling. Guess there's no harm in that. Alright, chill. Alright, so I ran from this queek. Oh, there's Death Master. Jesus. Alright, Thor, you're gonna have a you got a lot on your shoulders right now, buddy. Ooh, yeah, bullet dude. Yeah. Armed and ready. I have the forge fires glowing. Let's put this guy back. In. It shall be done. Does have iron. Vengeful You'd hate remember the days when we'd uh, hang out downstairs and drink beer, just play uh, play Halo, just go hard. Those were fun. Those were fun days. Do it again. I'm gonna be borrowing my uh, sister's Xbox One here soon to have my apartment. And uh, yeah, I'll be down to play like the Halos and stuff again. Cool. I'll be getting a PS5 here at some point too. Treasure. Big time. Oh. Whatever. 20 G, baby. Hey, Cooper. Iron Wild. Not shabby. Stock's really good, but I kind of want to go for a Cinder Blast shell again. It's a fun, fun little ability. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Back down to decisive. Yeah, back when Halo was good. It's true. I do want to play the newest one. I heard it's pretty decent. It'd be fun to play that on Legendary together. Hell yeah, I'd be down, dude. Let's do it. We live really close to each other, too. Do you still live down by the park, Nisqua? I'm like right across from the park from you. <laughs> I got your cars and stuff too. I need to talk to you about that. Oh, I have 
this guy for again? Oh yeah, I recruited this guy to fend off a rebellion. Okay, well in that case. I'm here. I'm a run out Thoric, what do you need? What do you need? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably even less than five minutes away. Thoric, when in doubt, get quarrelers. They're so fucking good. Thoric, okay, I think that's it. I thought I just turned off. Oh no, I turned off the wrong one. There we go, okay. Yeah, dude, it'll be fun. I'll uh, get that Xbox, borrow it from my sister. I know Callan, you know Callan, lives down in Portland. Um, he wants to play uh, Gears of War, the latest Gears of War with me. Because him and I have had, like, over the past two years now, like, every six months we get together for, like, three or four days and just binge a Gears of War on Xbox, like, on the couch together, just... You know, so I either need to go down to Portland to kick it with him for like, I don't know, you know, or usually like three or four days or borrow the Xbox as I was planning to and play with them online. I, I might stream it actually, but yeah, you and I should play the Halo together. That'd be fun. That your place or my place, whatever. We'll figure it out. Welcome, Kate. I'm with the High King. Welcome, for those of you that just joined. Just plowing through a Grumbardle campaign here. Oh, there's this guy raiding me. Oh, okay. Crush aborted. Well, we've actually quilled most of the grudges without even trying. Hey, it's tic-tac-toe. Look at him. I like tic-tac-toe. I like skinks. Skinks in general are awesome. Kind of tempted to make a lizardman army on tabletop. Yeah. Gears of War. Oh, the Horde mode in it. I've never actually played the Horde mode. Uh, that does sound fun, though. We've only just played the campaigns. Like, we'll spend two or three days just plowing through a campaign. Because I hadn't played it before. I'd never played the Gears of War at all until, like, two years ago. Whereas I'd played all the Halos pretty extensively. Mainly the old, older Halos, though. Like, the first three Halos. Yeah, dude. That'd be fun. You should. Let me hit you up. Scooch him a little closer. Oh, Belagar, just so angry. Just kind of chill, dude. So good, I love this building. Okay. Lord of Clan Borgrim. Oh, it's Malice Darkblade himself. Beneath me. I'm beneath you? That's rude. You're rude, sir. What do you want? Some poop stack here. I'm gonna come kick your butt with it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Gra 
up. Oh, no, these guys are so elite and so good. I don't want to put them in my worst army. <laughs> it just feels wrong. These are like my favorite units in the game. Uh, I'll give you a giant slayer. God, they're expensive. 480? Holy crap. I need to get this guy that Slayer rune. Not too. Do I have any more of those Slayer runes? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Takes off the 20%. No help. God damn, these guys are expensive. Get those up. Always feels good to be able to put money back in. Yosef. Yeah. Always are best. Thorax army looks better. Still not great. It's okay. It does have a unit of iron breakers. It's nothing to scoff at. I guess he's okay to move out. Let's move up here and see what we can see. Thoric! What did our dwarf eyes see? Salted Thoric. Can I help you? Okay, in this case, we're gonna hop up here. Now, this is dangerous, folks. This is dangerous. Jumping into the unknown. What the shit? Do not betray your. It's uh, Kalita's army, but oh, she came back in a rebellion. Oh. That's right. Secret mechanic. Uh, order's good. Getting close to having several provinces hit tier 5, in which case we'll ditch the growth buildings and switch over to economic. Prioritizing growth and money for the most part. Oh, man. oh yeah. Goldsmith, baby. Oh, I should build a growth building here. Yeah. Is this adding five for the order? Okay, we do need that. Up or do a little backdoor on the Skaven. This is our little ninja. Ninja flank. Oh, it's Louie by himself. What the fuck are you doing out here, Louie? Got him. He's just just scouting around without an army. You know? <laughs> weirdo. This guy, some giant slayers. Should we take the plunge and try? Yes. Oh, valiant defeat. Because oh, it is malice. I'm sure that it's giving him. The AI is giving him just a huge balance of power swing. Oh, didn't mean to delegate that there. Let's see. What's my lord's leadership? Oh, 94. That's pretty. They have Dark Conduit. Oh god, they do. Ew, gross. He's in March Dance. Sarkin. God. Three Sisters of Slaughter is annoying. They are annoying. Do you have Morn Fang Calf? Oh, my army is just so poopy, but I do outnumber them. I think I can beat it. Let's fight it. Let, yeah, we'll be okay. Malice is going to beat the shit out of us, but I think we'll be able to bring him down. Oh. I'm like deter 
Corbin to get the dagger on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm actually probably just gonna skip past Skate and Blight. We need to keep plowing. Souls up against. So they're they have dark conduit. So we need to be careful about blobbing up. I wish I had some more characters in this army. So I could just kind of bait them out with them. Oh yeah, hey. <laughs> so dwarfs uh, don't have like traditional mounts like horses, for example, or dragons like other factions do. Their one mount <laughs> is four dwarf dudes holding up the Lord. It's a mount. <laughs> they just they're just holding them up with shields. And he's just got his little little hammer. Isn't that ridiculous? It's one of the most ridiculous things ever. But that's Warhammer for you. Thought you'd appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, average Demi Kai King checking out the castways, just taking a little weekend stroll. Was uh, the Uncur was he a, uh, a Grail Knight himself in the lore? He like rise up through the ranks. I don't know his background very well. It's, uh, it's not very fast, but it's got a lot of mass to it. Like, it's hard to hard to chuck around. Oh god, Malice is coming in. Oh, he popped Zarkan. Oh, fuck. Is that Zarkan? No, he popped his, uh, other uh, ability. Okay. Into Dark Conduit. I'd be able to take him out. Let's see. Let's just focus on him. It's probably a terrible idea. Our lord's going down. Ah. Oh shit, he ran through. Now, 
This is just a slaughter, so annoying. That's what happens when high tier units run into a bunch of low tier units. There's shit lord versus a, a pretty good lord. God. Well, I tried, guys. I tried. some uh, iron drakes there just roast those sisters <laughs> nope my lord survived rip your lord yeah oh, he lived surprisingly I do beneath me yeah, I didn't even scratch Malice. Barely, barely heard him. Lord of Clan Morgrim. It's alright. It's, yeah, it's definitely my worst army. Even what before I want? just got his ass handed to him. Uh, it was my worst army. <laughs> Can be rebuilt. Nice. Now we're making some good money. 12k a turn. It's better. Vengeful came out to fight me. <laughs> You're right, Aiden. Root my lord. <laughs> Sending three armies, three of our core armies to go head towards Nagron. No, Definitely uh, it's allowed for these dark elves to kind of run rampant. It's my own fault. Carl, you know what? I'll give you a military lance, Carl. I'll, I'll uh, give you that. <laughs> Louis bringing me into a fight, guys. It's so funny. He himself spearheading the attack against Volksgrad. Where there's a couple sneaky skaven. He doesn't even take it, he just sacks it by himself. 
just hauling around a bunch of money on his back. Greeting. Uh, no, dude. I'm not paying you for defense alliance. You're stuck in here with me. All here. I kind of want to do that. I mean, this guy has one of my. This rogue faction has one of my settlements that I want. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Oh. So here's the Tomb King, Hayden. Holy crap, that's an interesting army, too. This is like a pretty high tier, but small, uh, Tomb King's army. So they got three elite. Infantry skeletons called Tomb Guard. One kind of mid tier infantry. Uh, two heavy cav. Two like hybrid cav. And then a bunch of giant, they're called monsters infantry, that are like big constructs. And they have each one of these is 16, so quite a few. But we got ghosts. We got ghosts. This would be kind of a fun battle, actually. Oh, it's in the ground, too. Interesting. So. Glad we have so many characters just to take out. Oh, my runesmiths to either or my rune lord or my runesmith to either side. Engineer dude, you can sit kind of in the middle. And then a thane on each side. I guess that works. They're gonna hit really intensely with those shoppy slam door lines. So I kinda need to be. And I don't have a lot of mass to stop them. Dwarves are pretty mass. They have a lot of mass themselves, for sure, for how small they are. But let's see. These throwing axes will actually be really useful to take out these constructs. These have these guys have really good armor piercing. So they'll be useful. We can have him sit back with these guys. Our two rangers and six corlers. Just kind of. Let's do this. War and vengeance. They have wronged us. It is a reckoning. Grudge thrower. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Spirits just yelling. Shit, that's right, they're gonna have a new shop you summon. Cool. They're pretty fast too. They hit hard. And they're uh, calf. Well, here's one of the types of calf. They're like uh, skeleton riders on top of these cobra snakes. Pretty cool. Rushapti, tomb guard. That's their lord. So yeah. 
Stop firing because they're kind of wasteful to be shooting at them. Just because they're not very accurate. But I think with our mast. Melted. Plink, plink. There's two units gone. Here comes the cav. Oh, our infantry is in line. We're in range for our artillery. Rocks away, boys. The power of having good heroes just tanking out. our front line. Character goon squad. <laughs> Up 
making 16k a turn. Characters. Well, I guess we can just march on and take full spread. Take it. Oh, sorry, Izzy, hold on. Be right back, guys. I'm just gonna open the door for Izzy. Yeah, it was easy. XP, some talent points. Yeah, so Hayden, that was an example of like a, when a battle goes really well. <laughs> it's like about as smooth as it gets. And you've seen fairly chaotic ones so far today. A few losses, a few wins. Oh, it's Gorich. So this is a... Uh, this guy is a legendary, um, not a lore, but a legendary hero. So he's a character. Uh, heroes are characters that don't command armies, but you can put them in armies. Like this guy. And this guy here. So lords are always on the far left. There's always one lord per army. So Ungrim's a lord. Mulgo's a lord. And then characters comes next. Um, so... Uh, heroes are single entities and they can be either in armies or on the campaign map. See, I can like pull him out. See, now he's out of the army. Um, this guy here is a special one of a kind. You only have one of them. Uh, Lord for the Skaven, for the rat guys, called Gorich. It's, he's super funny. He's like a. Oh, you want a male live stream win? Um, how about when Izzy. In my guess is five to ten minutes, she'll come back uh, to the door and like jump up and with both hands like knock on it and uh, and meow and be like dad, dad, I love it, yeah, damn it. Uh, so at that point, I'll bring her in and then I'll pick her up and hold her up to the camera for you guys if you'd like that. <laughs> but yeah, so Gorge is a special named hero uh, dude for the Skaven. He's he's pretty good. As you can see, he's he's not in armor right now. He's just like he's huge, like compared to my little dwarf dude. But uh, yeah, he's running around the campaign map doing stuff. But I wish we could see him in an army. Uh, we might if he if he gets embedded into a Skaven army and we happen to fight that army, we'll see him on the battlefield. But yeah, he's pretty cool. The Slayer in me seeks death. It is time. Okay. I am the Slayer King. Forge Ring of Slotus is pretty good. Izzy's been a lot calmer today than she was yesterday. She was all... Wait, although I take that back. there We had a stint for like 10 minutes this morning where Izzy was behind my computer monitors up on the the uh, the windowsill in front of me and was freaking out over some bunnies on the lawn again. She like almost knocked over a bunch of my tea, uh, tea cups and like my Hotas control joysticks and things like that. De decorative things that I have around the room. She was just like, ah, I need to be let out. But I calmed her down. She's fine. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Lord of Clan oh shit. It's Deathmaster and Queek. Like basically full stacks of trash. Coming in hot. Can't shake him. Uh, 
Well, we're gonna lose that place. That's for fucking sure. Quick says no. Yes. Bruss. Oh, my dude. Let's see, we need we need another army down here. We need nutter. <laughs> we need the nut. Nutter, grab some of those. Put your butt down here, Nutter. Wait. Oh yeah, we have to go all the way around. Oh, wait. No. Stop. Yeah, I guess that works. I'm just gonna underweigh him, but I don't think you can make it from there. Anyways, so not that big of a deal. Not my fault. What do you want? Yeah, let's just take what we bros. We'll lose Marak, but oh, fucking witch elves are so annoying to fight against. Um, I hope. And then once we get Nutter down to about here, we can try to get these guys separated and take them on. Lord of Clan Borgrim. That will be healed up pretty nicely, fairly quickly. My anger burns uh, do we need this building? Really depends if we're going to be doing any infantry recruiting here in this province, which I don't, I don't want to. Armed and ready. Our composition's okay. Rank do recruit infantry out here. Not very high. At all. We're okay for now. Well, they can't reach us this turn, or when well, I pass turns anyway, so we're safe for at least a turn to regenerate. Longbeards are still gonna be beat to shit though. Yeah, I should combine them, yeah. Oh, oh three turn recruit local. Uh, no, nah, can't do it. I'll grab another grudge star. I see you later to bash. Thanks for stopping by, dude. See you around. And the silly. Thanks for holding down the fort, man. Yeah, it's early in the morning for you. Have a good night's rest. Maybe uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Probably see uh, at least uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's chat. Legends chat. Have a good one, guys. I'll stream for another 20, 30 minutes or so, probably. See you guys tomorrow. Those of you taking off. Get some spices. Okay, let's see you, dude. Seventeen grand. All the little multipliers are starting to add up. Ooh, yeah. Here's our main capital. Karazi Karak is our like capital of capitals. As I could say. And now we can finally make it go up to tier 5, its highest tier. It's only 5,400 to do that. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap because we have some good tech that reduces construction costs. Let's see, we're still recruiting. Oh, yeah, rat poison. We have just enough money. Watch this. Research this, and we'll be down to 161 gold. 
ball in. <laughs> That's really good tech. It, uh, yeah, it's really good. Hey, Hayden. Here. There you go. Let's hop on through any of the protects. This place. God, all these little shit stack armies are everywhere. Deathmaster's armies are just lingers. How can I help? Linger. Okay, I have lightning strike on Grumpy. Yeah, okay, good. In that case. It's Ike Claw. Look at Ike Claw. So it gets one of the main Skaven lords. He's got a pretty good little army. These are good units. Well, Legend would say Storm Rumor are trash, and they are a legendary difficulty. Sure. I'm ready. I will lightning strike him. Close up like a nuke. I love that. Nice. So for defeating uh, Ike Claw, we get a, a special um, trait for our Lord here. It's really good. It's permanent. The dwarfs need me. I guess we just we can siege it. Victory. Oh, yeah. Just take a big old capital. You know who yeah, I this am. is pretty, pretty ritzy province here. How can I help? Oh, it's Izzy. Hold on, boo. Down yet. Right. There you go. Good day. Who calls me? What to do? Near Scotty to Shoddy is max level. That. Level 40. I am okay. the white dwarf. We got at least C. Nothing. Okay. Well, Rajanano is unpleasant climate, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. It'll still make us quite a bit of money.
Yeah, saw that coming. Still quite a few factions left. I'm kind of surprised by that. Well, Drake's faction got eliminated. Cool. There instead. How can I help? Skate and blight. I wonder if there's anything there. The high king of Athens. True king of eight feet. True king. To battle. Lord of the Angren. By my hammer, it will be done. Setting forth. How your cat's doing, Hayden? Can I help you? What do you want? Lord. Right. You say so, Beardling. On my way. I. Vengeful. Deck two. See who goods are. That a boy. Hey, right, will you help me take out these dark elves, please? Thank you. So we lost an entire army. Cheap army at that, but still it was an army. I could barely hear her through these headphones because they're noise canceling. Uh, so, like, if there's low volume or noise going on in the game, um, then I could barely hear her knocking at the door. But if there's a lot of action going on and various sounds occurring, then I can't really hear her with these headphones. So, 
That's where you come in, though. <laughs> Exactly, all the little the wildlife out there. Izzy's doing the same thing, just chirping. Yes, we see you. You're hunting, yeah. Good. Proud of you. Yeah, I'm so badass. This guy's like the most badass. I think he's the most badass dwarf lord. Oh, look at that mohawk. No, he doesn't have siege equipment. God. Thank them. Oh, okay, so it is Clan Boulder. They haven't confederated with... Yes. Um... For the wisdom. Eshen, Clan Eshen. It was Clan Moors that confederated with Clan Eshen. Got it. Alright, well this army has got siege equipment, so now I can fight them. No? Oh, I guess I have to swap who's actually initiating the army, that's right. If Mogo initiates then I should build a lot of them. Yeah. Oops. Those guys. Private secured. I'll turn off taxation to help accelerate public order stabilization and that. Ready. We'll go leveled up. Excellent. I have to get more replenishment. Oh, yeah. That'll be. Guy back in an army. The axe first for war. Research available. Nice. That's a pretty sight. All that research finished. Alright, I guess now we can start buffing up our weapons. No, Izabu, you're fine. You're fine. So, this area of the tree is all pretty much like melee buffs. Tech that increases our, our uh, melee infantry through some form. And the bottom couple rows are buffs to like our ranged units. Just like, I don't know where she is, I just hear her meowing. I typically like to buff ranged units more than melee most of the time. Well, we should probably stomp. These little hoop stacks. So I'm gonna do that. The Thorgrim. Thorgrim and these iron drakes are gonna roast some some rat. There's a new hero in uh, Vermintide 2 that I was watching Milk and Cookies uh, do a playthrough of, and it's a dwarf engineer guy, and uh, he has a one of his weapons is a like a crank handle minigun. You just like bust it out and it's like it's pretty neat it's pretty cool I'm gonna have Cromwell wait here for another turn 
for uh, Belagar to catch up. Send me to vengeance. So Logan's over here. He needs to recruit some. that I want on turned off accidentally. So that's why I was missing some lords that were garrisoned and not moving them. Okay. Oh, I'm out of money. Oops. I'll recruit some more units for Logan next turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Joe and I are thinking the same thing. We played at the beginning when two first dropped, and then uh, I've played any of the DLCs for it. I think there's been a couple. Uh, see, I'd be down. You should. Uh, oh, you play on Xbox though, right? And I don't think there's cross compatibility with it yet. I don't believe for like PC to be compatible with uh, Xbox, for example. I don't know. I don't think there is. If there is, though, you should totally play with Joe and I. Guys, three summits. This one, and this one. Where's their third settlement? Oh, they have Dork Kras. Trust me, I do need that one. Five and we have how many settlements? 66. Yeah, it's pretty slow growth. I should have like a hundred probably, but it's okay. There's another Bretonian army with <laughs> look at all those peasants. everywhere. Tonia. They're all scrambling for hell pit. What oh, if I get there first? Oh, 
Grumby's chilling there. It's four ground. Yeah, I should chase these armies down. What are they even doing? I just need to put them out of misery. Again, it's a shame. This place was tier four. Ugh. It was all built up. Well, now let's take a hero out. We need a scout. Got some really good unique traits in his uh, skill tree. Nice, we're at four hundred and fifty percent research rate. That is excellent. Intercepted. <laughs> Intercepted. <laughs> Intercepted. <laughs> that was brutal for the Skaven. Second time he's ended his non aggression back with me. Oh my gosh. Oh, cunt. Greetings, <sighs> honorable Apple. Why is my reliability tanked? Huh. Don't remember breaking any treaties.
<laughs> right? Just wrecked him. None of them were worth fighting. It was just so pathetic. Those little poop stacks. Yeah, well, I cleared out those guys. on Skaven Blight and probably destroy it. How can I help? I, I'll see it done. Why not? We'll find out. It is time. Nice third leveled up twice through all that crap. Nice, one more turn, and we'll be tier five with our capital. Growth building. Get rid of all these growth buildings. Ooh, it's 22 G sack, but it is a tier five. I'm just gonna occupy it. It is a big old city. Get a tier four. City. I'm not. Nice. Slayers are all sauced up. For the wisdom of the layer. I am the Slayer King. All these empire armies just running for territory. No. 
fight. Get those cannons moving! Can I help you? Oh, I suppose so. Grenier is with us! Let's see what we got. Close victory. Lose a slayer. Faction's still alive, he'll come back as a lord, but for now he's uh, he's wounded. Death Gorge once and for all. I think I'm going to call it for today. Oh, I'm going for about five hours. That was fun. We, uh, I plowed through this campaign, especially today. It didn't meet my goal. It's okay. I try. It took longer than expected. Saw some good action today, though. Tomorrow I'm starting a new campaign. Uh, Spencer's working on the uh, the image for me tonight. I'll have it finished in the morning. The thumbnail. And, uh, it's it's gonna be pretty funny. It's a funny looking image. So I'll be playing the uh, or starting a, uh, a high elf campaign tomorrow. High elves are pretty cool. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's, uh, that was fun having you hang out, kick it with me. Uh, yeah, I'll be starting tomorrow at the same time, about one. Uh, I'll be going for probably at least four hours tomorrow, I'd say. And uh, yeah, it'd be cool if you could watch it. Uh, you get to see like the beginnings of a campaign, early game, and how it morphs into late game. Uh, but yeah, if not, it's cool too. I'll, I'll be streaming a lot. 